I'm eating right now. I can't even, I can't talk with my mouth open. I'm too busy eating. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dominique, if you're new here. Please make sure that you are subscribing to this channel and like this video if you liked it. All right y'all, so for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all every piece that I got from the Kalana Barfield Brown collection with Target. So Target introduced the Future Collective to its company. And I believe Kalana Barfield Brown is the first collaborator with this collection. So when I seen these pieces, I was like, bet i have to get my hands on them and thank goodness i did because let me share with y'all how this collection changed my life okay <laughs> i feel like these are staple pieces that need to be in my wardrobe that i didn't have already so i'm gonna do a haul on all the pieces that i picked up and then i'm also going to share with you all some of the ways that i styled these pieces together all right y'all starting off with this denim dress oh my gosh when you look at it on the hanger or for me when i looked at it on the hanger i was like no this is giving very childish. It's giving very boo boo gaga, gaga boo boo. I was like, mm, mm, mm. but I tried it on anyway. And the reason why I tried it on was because I was like, I wanted to film something for Instagram so the girls on Instagram could see how the pieces looked on the body. And this was a piece that I wasn't going to buy, but I tried it on anyway and it instantly fell in love. This dress i knew i was gonna wear it as a top though <laughs> i knew i was gonna wear this dress as a top just because i'm not a huge dress kind of girl because the way my body is set up and because i don't really have a lot going on at the top but there's a little bit more going on at the bottom the way that dresses usually fit me are just kind of ill-fitting but this since it comes with the belt is amazing it's a beautiful beautiful dress but i'm gonna wear it as a top i love the sleeves i fell in love with the sleeves fell in love with the sleeves. They don't go all the way down, which is fine. So if I wanted to wear this, which I am going to wear it in the fall, I will be wearing a long sleeve that's gonna show. It's gonna look good, just a pop up boop. You know, just a little boop. I love the way that it looks. Again, I'm gonna wear it as a top where, where I'm going to take the belt part and instead of wrapping it to the front, I'm going to wrap it around to the back, cinching in the waist and making the waist appear a little bit smaller. You know what I mean? Like, who doesn't look a little slim waist, a little little razzle dazzle. I wouldn't dress this up. I would wear this dress with sneakers. I wouldn't wear it with heels. Maybe some thigh high boots, maybe, but I'm definitely gonna have to wear this with some like high top sneakers. I think it would re look really nice together. This black and cream cardigan <laughs> to die for, honestly. Look at this. I love how the stripes are different sizes. Uh, you have these, which are thicker and wider, whereas on the sleeves, they're slimmer. Around the wrist gets a little tighter, and then also around the waist, it gets tighter. So because of that, that's why I decided to size up in this cardigan. Instead of getting a small, I purchased this in a medium. So Kalana Barfield is known for her fashion, specifically wearing oversized clothes. So the way that she marketed these pieces, she marketed them in a way that showed how oversized they can be worn. Now in her reel that she posted on Instagram, all the outfits that she's wearing are oversized looks and they look so good on her. And she did say that the collection runs from a size, I believe extra small to 4X. But if you want an oversized look, you do have to go up a size or two. That's what she said. So when I tried on these pieces, I tried on the pieces that were my size, and then I went back to see how going up two sizes would fit me. And I'll share with you all how those two sizes look uh, in comparison to one another. The next cardigan that I got was the cream. I believe I picked up all the cardigans in this collection. So the next cardigan is this cream and lime green color, y'all. This color combination was everything. And one thing that I noticed about this collection was that she used the same buttons if she was using the brown ones. She used the same buttons on the cardigan and then on the pair of pants that I'm gonna show, which I loved. So if I was to wear this or wear another piece that has these brown buttons with the pinstripe pants that I'm gonna share with you, uh, the buttons are going to be the exact same and I love that. Unfortunately, at the moment, I don't have anything that goes with this as far as shoes are concerned. So I'm considering taking it back, but I just, I'm obsessed with the color combo. I don't know if I'm gonna take it back or not, um, but I don't know. I don't know how I would wear this at the moment unless like later down along the line, I picked up a pair of shoes that match this cardigan or something that goes with this cardigan. Other than that, this is gonna be sitting in my closet for a little while. Will it? And the only thing that I don't like about this cardigan is that it doesn't feel good on the skin. So if you look closely, 
The texture of this cardigan is a bit rough. And so it doesn't feel that nice on the skin. Hopefully I'll figure out how to wear it soon. If not, it's gonna go have, it's gonna have to go back, babe. Okay. The last cardigan that I picked up is probably my favorite cardigan. And I didn't think I was gonna like this because I'm not a huge leopard print, cheetah print type of girl. I know it's a neutral, but it's just not me right now. It's just not, and it hasn't been me for a little while now. But when I seen this cardigan and the color combination, I was like, oh, they did that. They num 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 eight. Look at this cardigan. It's a leopard print, I think. Is it leopard print? I think it's leopard print. Okay, so it's a leopard print with a little asterisk next to leopard, okay? With the white, brown, and red stripe detailing. Y'all, when I seen this in person, I was like, no, I need that. Because when I seen it online, I was like, okay, it's cute. But when I seen it in person, I was like, you're coming with me. You're coming with me. Now, in comparison to the cream and green cardigan, this the texture of this cardigan feels really nice and soft on the skin. It's not rough or anything like that. So you should be good when you are wearing this. Uh, other than that, I, I love, love it. Look how beautiful that is i think the red and the white contrast against the leopard print is such a nice added touch and um i cannot wait to just throw this on i think this could be worn with a white tank some denim jeans and some black shoes i mean i think the possibilities are fairly endless with this cardigan so if you have it girl you hopefully you know what to do with it okay because she's cute and she does all the talking so a simple look let the cardigan do the talking, babe. You you don't need to do a lot with this one, trust me. The only thing that I realized with these cardigans is the fact that they don't have any pockets. I love a cardigan with a pocket, but that's okay. But just be aware that they do not have pockets. All right, moving on to pants. Now, these are the only pants that I picked up from the collection. She did have a khaki pair and a denim pair, but they were fairly simple to me and I didn't feel the need to have them in my wardrobe. So I just went with the pinstriped black ones and thank goodness I did. Look at these pants. Ooh, girl. Now, these are the pants that I initially picked up in a size four. I went down a size, I'm usually a size six. I'll leave my measurements down below in the description if you're curious to know my bust, my waist, and my hips and all that good stuff. I'll leave those down below. Uh, but when I tried these on in a four, they fit me well at the waist. Now these aren't high rise, these are considered mid rise pants. So when I did try them on in a four, I initially purchased them in a four and then I went back to Target to test out how it would look if I went up two sizes, and this is a size eight. This size eight fits me really nice. It sits well on the hips. It doesn't show my underwear or anything like that. There's no gapping in the back, anything. Uh, but these fit me really well, so I went ahead and so I decided to go ahead and exchange them. So I picked up these in a size eight, and I returned the size four. Now the reason why I picked up the size four is because it fit me really well, and I didn't know how the, going up two sizes would look on me. I didn't even try it that day, so I'm glad that I went up two sizes in these pants, and I got me a size eight. Now in a size four, you could see all of my ankles, all of them, all of them. But in a size eight, they don't show my ankles at all and they come all the way down, I believe, to the back of my heel. So yes, yes, I have the opportunity to roll them up if I want them to look a little shorter and to show off more of my shoe, or I can just keep them just like this if you know I don't care to show off the shoe or if it just looks better that way. But I love these pants. Oh, and let me show you the detailing of the button. You see the brown button here? and then the button on the cardigan. I just, I love that. When I noticed that, I was like, nice attention to detail on her part. So many different ways that you could style these up. And again, I went up two sizes in these pants. Now, she did have two, wait, no, she had more than two. There were two blazers in store at my store that I seen that I considered purchasing, but I only went ahead and picked up one of them. This is the blazer that I decided to get it is so nice. This satin stripe detailing on the arms, that girl. This is literally, the. I purchased this simply because it had this. And I knew that this would work really well with some like satin wide leg pants. I just got some in from Zara that were on sale, babe. So you know they are about to go together like best friends. And the fact that this is a little oversized for me, again, that brown button detailing, Hit it on the nail with that. Yeah, this, I didn't go up a size. I actually went down a size. This is in an extra small. 
This is in an extra small. I felt like the small was a little too big. I don't know, something about, I guess the way with my body shape or my body type, I'm not a huge fan of fairly like really big oversized things. I do like oversized, but I don't like it too oversized. Now with the small, I felt like it was a little too oversized for me where it was giving me like a trying, an upside down triangle shape and I wasn't really feeling that or like a straight up and down type of shape. I wasn't feeling that either. So I went down a size and I'm glad that I did. I can still wear this on my shoulder without putting my arms through it and it still give like a slightly oversized look, but it also doesn't fit me like, you know what I mean? It's not that small where it's too form fitting. It still gives me a little wiggle room, a little space to move around in. And you'll see that in the try on video. Love this blazer. She also had this faux leather one that I was considering getting. But I just was like, I don't know if it's worth it. Um, I probably should swap out that green and cream cardigan for the blazer. That would be smart. But will I do it? I don't know. The last piece that I picked up from this collection had to be this. If you didn't get anything from this collection, you should have got this. This dress. She advertises it as a dress, but I'm gonna wear it as a dress and a shirt because this top is so versatile. It's a black and white striped dress. Again, giving you that everyday basic piece that you need, but a little elevated, a little bit more sophisticated. Most of those pieces that I showed y'all are literally staples in a wardrobe. You know, you have that cheetah print, or that leopard print. You have a black blazer with a little bit of flair. You have some cardigans. It's, that's how I knew Purchasing these pieces was worth it. So here again, you have this black and white striped dress. You can also wear it as a top, like I said before. The great thing about this uh, dress is the fact that it's kind of asymmetrical. So you, uh, so you button it on the inside and then the other part kind of crosses over and it gives it such a beautiful elevated look. I, I just, with this dress, the stripes are going in a different direction on the pocket, whereas on the shirt itself, you have the stripes going down in a vertical direction. The detail, I just, I, I appreciate the detail because the pocket could have just been going straight down as well, but the fact that it's going in a different direction just gives it a little bit more interest to the dress. I got this in a size six. I did try it on in a size four, and initially I was gonna get the four, but I knew how I wanted to wear this dress. I didn't just wanna wear it as a dress. I wanted to wear it, wear it as an overshirt, something to throw over like a basic tank top, a basic t-shirt, something like that. And then I also wanted to wear this dress over pants. So I didn't want it to fit too tight on me. So that's why I went up a size and I got the six. All right, so let me share with y'all how I styled these pieces. And I specifically wanted to style these pieces together with one another. I didn't wanna necessarily pull too many pieces out from my closet, like a pair of jeans that you all can't find <laughs> or like a shirt that is sold out everywhere. You know, I wanted to showcase how easy these pieces could be styled with one another, like together. You don't need to pull this out in a third from your closet. You don't need to buy, go out and buy other things to put outfits together from this collection. You pretty much have everything that you need in this collection to build an outfit or two or three or four or five. I'm gonna show you five. So yeah, this is how I styled all the pieces. Okay, so for this first outfit, I'm going to be styling the denim dress and the pinstripe pants together, y'all. Again, I told you I was gonna wear this dress as a top. I went ahead and tied it around the back. You all will see it here on the screen. Um, I went ahead and tied it around in the back. I paired this up with my uh, Converse and Rick Owens collab. I love these sneakers. These are an absolute staple in my collection, in my wardrobe. Whenever I can wear these sneakers, I'm going to wear them because they're everything. I would legitimately wear these sneakers with this dress and no pants, you know what I mean? Just wear the dress as a dress and wear those Converse's with the dress. I think that would be a look too, you know what I mean? Cute accessories, accessorize it up. Anyways, back to the outfit. So with this look, I just wanted to keep it fairly simple. I think it looks really nice together. I just paired it with these, uh, I, I just paired it with these cat eye dark shades, like, these are some black sunglasses. And I believe I got them from Target, if I'm not mistaken. If it wasn't from Target, then it was from Forever 21. But I got them months ago. I don't know if you'll be able to find them. I thought this outfit was so fun. I mean, it's simple, but it's perfect for fall. Like, it doesn't, I'm ready for fall. Wait, no, I lied. I, I'm, 
I like the little sun. It's getting cooler over here. I'm not gonna lie. It's getting a little cool in Atlanta. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's the first look. This next outfit is with the cheetah leopard print cardigan, girl. <laughs> when I went back and watched these clips to edit them, all I could keep saying was, eight, you eight, you eight. I love this look. Initially, I was going to wear this outfit with the black shades that I showed in outfit number one, but I went looking for some red shades. I was like, I know I have some red shades in here. When I put these on, I was like, that's it. It brings out the red in the cardigan and the red in my sneakers. So I'm actually wearing the Nike Sakai collab uh, blazer lows. But when I was trying to um, put an outfit together for this cardigan, I initially put on my Prada loafers and I was like, mm, no, I think I have something else. And as soon as I said that to myself, I went into my closet and I pulled these out. I was like, thank God, because these perfect timing, perfect timing. I paired this look with the very viral TikTok sweatpants. And I purchased the gray ones months ago and I didn't even know that they were viral on TikTok. I just wanted, I just like them because I like wide leg sweatpants. And so when I seen that they were viral on TikTok, I was like, girl, let me hurry up online and, and get some other colors. And cream was one of the colors that I picked up online as well as the black. Again, I put them on my Instagram stories. So if you're not following me, you probably should. Love this look, I think it's so fun. Oh, and let me say that for the upcoming outfits, you're gonna see this sheer top. This is a top from Zara, but you don't have to get this top from Zara. A sheer long sleeve mock neck, turtleneck is easily accessible online. So you don't necessarily have to get this exact one from Zara, and by the time this video goes out, I don't believe it'll be in stock anymore, but you can, I will leave some alternatives down below for your convenience. And I did that on purpose. I wanted to keep this top on for almost all of these outfits because I didn't want to, again, make any of these outfits super complicated. I wanted you all to be able to focus on the pieces that are from this collection and know that you don't need to go out and buy a whole bunch of different things just to wear with this collection because it's all encompassing. You have almost everything that you need to work with in this collection. Love this outfit. Love this outfit. All right, outfit number three. We'll be giving sexy, sophisticated, you know what I'm saying? So for this look, I decided to take out the uh, tank top that I had or the strapless shirt that I had underneath the sheer top with the cardigan because, you know, I didn't want to flash anybody. But honestly, I ain't gonna lie, it does look much better without the top underneath it where it's just showing skin. I just love the way that it looks, but, you know, I couldn't show my nips on the end. So here, again, this outfit I think is so sophisticated. Pants from the collection. Again, this is when I noticed that the buttons were the same. And I was like, oh, she did that. Like I said, she did that. The shoes are Prada loafers. I will be sharing that soon. But yeah, the shoes are Prada loafers. They're the pointed monolith loafers. And I'm so excited to have them for this season. They were on my wish list and I got them thank god definitely you go wear some pasties underneath to keep your nipples from being exposed you can wear a bralette or a bra something nice something cute because it is going to show through this sheer shirt so don't just wear any like raggedy sixth grade bra that you had all these years okay so don't do that moving on next outfit is the striped white and black dress Told you I was gonna wear it as a dress, as a shirt. I tucked it in the back. I tucked it in in the back because I liked the way it fell when it was tucked in the back. It looks more like a shirt instead of like a long shirt or a dress. You know what I mean? I wanted it to look like, okay, it's short in the back and it's long in the front. And the way that the stripes fall, say less because it's, I'm eating right now. I can't even, I can't talk with my mouth open. I'm too busy eating. I love the way that these, that this outfit came together. Again, I'm wearing the Rick Owens and Converse collab. I'm not gonna stop wearing them, babe. And I'm going to continue to convince you to purchase them. I'm sure that they're still up on Essence's website. I will leave them linked down below. If not, I don't know what to tell you. Scour the internet for them because they're that good. I got the choker from Zara. I also got the bracelet from Zara as well. They are a set, but they don't, they're not sold as a set. They're sold separately, okay? And um, the shades are Emilio Pucci. And I just, I love these shades. I think they're fabulous. All right, this is the last outfit. Simple, again, I threw on the black and white striped cardigan with those pinstripe pants, and I kept the Prada loafers on. This outfit, girl, I have it buttoned up here, but if I was to wear this out, I would button it a little 
further down. Like I'm that girl. Like the sheer top just eats delicious. I paired it with my Lueve shades. The nice pop of color in the lens just stood out with this outfit and I knew I had to pair these shades with this outfit just to break up the basic black and white look. That is it, that's how I styled these pieces. I do hope you all enjoyed. I hope you were able to get your hands on this collection. If they do restock, I will be alerting y'all ASAP on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, please feel free to do so. What outfit was your favorite? Was it outfit one, two, three, four, five, or was it outfit me? Which one? Let me know down below in the comments. I would love to chat it up with y'all. If you have any of these pieces, please let me know how you plan on styling them. And I will see you all in my next one. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye, y'all.